of a cup agency problem in financial management so that is the topic what we are going to discuss today so coming to agency problem before discussing what agency problem is the first thing what we have to know is we have to know the meaning of agency only then the meaning of agency problem can be derived so the first thing is coming to the meaning of agency so agency means any organization which produces goods or renders services is generally termed as an agency so simply you can call an organization as an agency and it is the owner who is in charge of an agency that is you can call the shareholder as the charge of an agency clear so agency is an organization which is producing or rendering services or producing goods is generally termed as agency and you have an important concept in accounting that is business entity concept so what this concept says is owner is separate from the business and it is the managers who generally run the business it is the manager who generally work out for the success of the business okay so what entity concept says is owner is separate from business and it is a manager which runs the business so here coming on the basing on that concept if you see agency relationship the relationship between an owner and the management is generally termed as an agency relationship that is what is the bonding you have with that of a management what is the bonding which an owner has with that of a management is generally considered as an agency relationship and when that relationship breaks it is termed as agency problem so what is agency problem when there is any conflict of interest between the owner or the shareholder and the management it is generally termed as agency problem okay agency problem is when you have any differences in interest between the owners and the management it is generally termed as agency problem now the question here is why agency problem so you know that your objective and the management objective doesn't match isn't it the owners always aim for profit always aim for return on investment whereas the management always aim for benefits high incentives so when there is conflict of interest between the managers objective and the shareholders objective it leads to a problem and that problem is termed as agency problem okay so why agency problem in the sense when the owners objective that is the shareholders objective and the managers objective do not go in the same direction are not aligned in the same direction then there will be an agency problem and due to this agency problem there is a cost incurred in an organization and that cost is generally termed as agency cost so agency cost is the cost incurred due to an agency problem is generally termed as agency cost so there are two types of agency cost which are incurred the first one is direct agency cost and the second one is indirect agency cost so the now what you have to know is what is a direct agency cost so direct agency cost is if management conducts any activity which benefits the management at the cost of shareholder it is termed as direct agency cost okay and coming to indirect agency cost if management denies any opportunity which causes loss to shareholders value it is termed as indirect agency cost so due to agency problem the two costs which are incurred is direct agency cost and indirect agency cost and now coming to the reasons for agency problem so what are the causes for agency problem so there are three main causes for an agency problem the first one is when there is 
any conflict of interest between the owners and the management. That is when there is any conflict of interest between the owners and management, you will have an agency problem. And the second cause is when there is any conflict of interest between the majority shareholders and minority shareholders. So majority shareholders are those shareholders who hold major stake in the organization. And minority shareholders are those who hold minor stake in the organization. So when there is any conflict of interest between majority shareholders and minority shareholders, it, it gives rise to an agency problem. And the last one is when there is any conflict of interest between the owners and other parties of contract. So that is an organization may enter into different parties of contract. Like the organization may enter into a contract with creditors. It may enter into a contract with auditors. It may enter into a contract with suppliers, or retailers. Or, and it may enter into a contract with government. So when there is any conflict of interest between the owners and the parties with whom the firm contracts, then it gives rise to an agency problem. So this is regarding agency problem. Thank you.